Welcome to another demo. Today we'll be presenting Edge Image Builder. So, what is Edge Image Builder? It's a standalone tool for creating customized SLI micro images. It will create a self installing ISO or raw images. So, the idea is to have configuration done through combustion files for the OS at first boot. And the goal is to have one image for multiple deployments and yes, also for Kubernetes HA. So we will have, first of all, an image definition in YAML where we define what we want to be the output. Then we will have some configuration files that will help us and a base image that should be a SLI micro 5.5 or higher. We will combine these three using the Edge Image Builder to get a single output that is a ready to deploy image. So basically, we will configuration the OS in this demo, time, keyboard, layout, users, SSH, keys, etc. Then we will install some extra packages and tools. We will configure network. Then we will install some custom scripts that we will see a little bit later. And once we are done with the OS, we will jump to Kubernetes. We will install K3S 1.28.8. In a single node configuration, we will configure hostname and networking for this um, this single node cluster, we will configure Kubernetes, so K3S. We will add a Helm repo. We will configure the deployment of a Helm chart and its values for this deployment concretely. So now let's going to see what's in the Edge Image Builder folder so we have the base images some custom scripts then we have the main jaml where all the definition is done the kubernetes configuration including helm the network configuration and some gpg keys for downloading some rpm packages so we can see here the main jaml definition the architecture, base image, output image name, things like where we will install this, the time zone, the NTP server. We will enable cockpit socket, so the cockpit service that is needed for remote management. We will create a root user, a SUSE user with SSH keys, so basically, we will be doing all the OS configuration using Combustion. We will install a Git package and its dependencies. We will register this with the customer portal. We will deploy Kubernetes. We will deploy an Oyama chart based on a Helm repo. So we basically provided all what we need. So let's check the Kubernetes configuration. So first of all, we can see in Kubernetes config that we have a server YAML, which we will see that we will configure basic stuff there. We could do something else. So the CNI and we specify that Cell Linux must be activated. Then if we go to the Helm values, we will see the configuration for the Helm chart. So basic information for the Helm chart, node name, model, and where to deploy. So basically basic configuration. Now we will see what's in the network configuration. And we will see that basically we have a basic configuration. Take into account that the name of this YAML file should be the name of the host name. In here, we 
specify basic stuff like the MAC address, like uh, configuration for the network. So which is the main entry point destination, the, interfa the interface, DNS resolver. Um, well, basically all what we need. Take into account that we're using DHCP for this concrete case because the router is assigning an IP, an IP based on the on the MAC address. Now we can see custom. In here we can see files, so extra packages we are going to install. And we have two scripts, one that starts with 80 and one that starts with 70. That is because Combustion assigns priority to the scripts based on the number at the beginning of the script. So 80 will be the last one, 70 will be the previous one. Now we can see that we're doing some basic standard configuration for being able to use Kubernetes. Now it's time to run the command, the podman command that runs HImage Builder to build everything. You can see the command in the screen, but it's uh, it's all in our documentation. So you can see that is creating some scripts now that will be configuring different parts. And now it's populating an embedded artifact registry. It's downloading K3S, all the pieces that we need. So we can deploy this even disconnected because everything we need to deploy this exact configuration will be embedded on the ISO image. And once we connect that ISO image to a bare metal, to a VM, it will be everything automatically configured. No human or manual configuration. Everything will be prepared and deployed automatically. So let's wait until the ISO is built. It won't take long. Okay, now it's already building the ISO image. So we're almost there. Okay. We don't have any kernel parameters now, but we could have, for instance, if we were doing this same deployment for ATIP. So for telco use cases, we will need to configure kernel params, but not for this concrete case that is, uh, let's say, a standard basic deployment. Okay, now the image is built. So we're going to use the Virtual Machine Manager to start now a VM with this concrete ISO image. And we will see how the image starts, how to configure and deploys Kubernetes, the Helm chart, etc., without any human intervention. So first of all, configuration, select the ISO image for the first boot. Okay, so we have it there. Now we have to specify which kind of Linux we will be using. So Slim Micro 5.5. We are going to give it a little bit more CPU, adjust the storage and the naming. So K3S, no GPU, LLM. We could do this also configuring all the GPUs in case you want to build this with real GPUs. So we force off because we need to do some tweaking to work in a virtualized or more than a virtualized in, in VMM. So we need to reattach this unit. So in the first start, it gets this CD-ROM and applies all the configuration. Now we'll, we'll see the first boot and how it installs Slim Micro. Once the first installation is completed, it will reboot and it will proceed to configure the OS, deploy the extra tools and RPMs, 
deploy Kubernetes, so K3S in this case. And last but not least, it will deploy the Helm chart with all the configs we specified in our YAML file and in our values YAML. So we have to wait for a few minutes while this finishes and we will see that it will restart and configure everything. Okay, it already rebooted. It's starting as Micro, and it's time to configure. So now we will see like an error message that says that it didn't find the combustion uh, disk. That's because we could provide a USB drive with the combustion files, but with Edge Image Builder, this is not needed. This would be something that we would do for a standard Slim Micro installation. So now we can see that it is configured network. It starts with five, so has quite high priority. Now it detected that has some packages and dependencies to install for Git, so it's installing everything. Then it is installing the module for Selenux for K3S. So configure whatever it's necessary. Now the key maps, the users, we can see everything in the screen that is doing following a number orders. So 20, 26, 48, and now it's running the tools installation. And now it's already finished and we can see that also started the cockpit service, which we have available in certain IP. So we can just log in. We will see that K9S is installed like we specified in our custom directory and now let's check that K3S it's running, it's in place, and that our Helm chart has been deployed. So basically, first of all, we will get as root. And now we will check that it's a single node cluster running K3S. And now let's check that the Helm chart run I'm finished. So the Oyama is finished. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.